have a little bit of room here. I need walking room. I need walking. They call it stand up, but I'm going to be walking. All right. Yes, my name is Corwin. Although I can't see them now, I know there's a couple people who have seen them before, um, and others who actually know better. Um, I have performed stand up comedy before. I would always do it at UNC open mic night. And the reason why I tell you this is because I want to set a standard. And by standard, I mean a low bar on what you should expect tonight when it comes to my humor. I performed open mic night for a bunch of college students. Do you know how easy it is to make college students laugh? There's a third Harold and Kumar movie coming out. That's all you need. Older people get that younger. That messed that up. It's okay. Uh, yeah, so I told my friend I'd been doing open mic night, um, participating in that, and for once I was going to stray from that and do a talent show. Uh, and he got the wrong idea. He asked, what are you singing? Well, I'm sorry I'm not singing anything. I really don't want to end tonight with an investigation of a mass suicide. <laughs> No, no singing. Maybe if Journey comes on, there'll be a squeaking from my chair there, but other than that, no. Yeah, I am. A, if you can't tell, I'm a little nervous tonight. Um, my skin is crawling. It feels like it's going to jump off my bones, but, you know, I keep calm because I just think, hey, if that actually happened and my skin jumped off my bones, we'd have a much bigger problem up here than me bombing it. <laughs> So with life, life is interesting, but there's some things I don't understand. Uh, one thing I really don't understand is, well, you know, girls. Um, <laughs> way to jump to conclusions. I was not finished. <laughs> I met girls who say, I'm a sucker for food. I don't know if they understand the meaning of sucker when they say, I am such a sucker for food. Sucker means that, you know, you're foolish, you're gullible, you fall for ploys, like let's say a pyramid scheme, or that, you know, Charlie Sheen is actually a person, things like that. <laughs> you know, then you're a sucker, but a sucker for food, how does that work? Like, does a girl go to a restaurant, order food, and they bring her food out, she's like, I don't know if I should eat that. <laughs> I think it's a trick. And of course the food's they're talking back to her because that's what food does. It's like, come on, you know you want to eat me. <laughs> Don't worry about it. No, no, it's definitely a trick. No, I'm delicious. Don't worry about it. Just try it. Okay, I'll try it. And bam, she gets diarrhea for a week. She is a sucker. <laughs> that's what you get for going to McDonald's, people. <laughs> I'm actually out of fast food finally, thank God. Um, I now work at TGI Fridays, and I love it there. And the thing is, I just turned 21 a month ago, and ever since then, I'm hosting Bingo every Saturday night there. Um, well, they, I, although I do host Bingo, I'll tell you this, I'm not as funny when I host Bingo. Uh, namely because my audience is, you know, they're all gradually losing Bingo, plus they have an alcoholic beverage in their hand, and that's not a good combination. Uh, but yeah, I host Bingo, and people do get very antsy. Uh, last week, uh, there is this big group of girls, and it was the final round, and it just finished, and one of them won. So I went over to, you know, make sure she didn't cheat or anything. And right when I got over to the group, there was this one who just jumped on me right away. Not like physically attacking me, mind you. I just meant verbally. She attacked me, and it was very interesting because right away she was just like, You should have called B15. Why didn't you call B15? You should have called B15. I don't hesitate for one second. I say right off the bat, I said, well, you see, B-15 and I aren't very good terms right now. <laughs> we went on a date once, and, you know, he said he was going to call me, and he never did, and I'm like, there's no way I'm calling B-15. <laughs> <laughs> no siree. <laughs> um, I, I'm a little nervous tonight. Um, as you can see, I'm doing okay. Uh, but the thing is, anytime you do public speaking or have a presentation, just any kind of thing where you're a little nervous, you've all heard this at one point in your life, someone will always tell you the single piece of advice, and that is to picture their audience in their underwear. I don't know what moron thought of that idea. You see, I'm a nerd. I have enough problems talking to women as it is. I don't think the solution to my nerves is to picture the whole audience in their underwear. <laughs> 
It's true. I mean, how could you be so comfortable talking to partially nude people like it's no big deal? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So let's say this individual is in a coffee shop. And, you know, he's reading his book. He's been reading for like half an hour. But he's been stuck on the same page for a while because there's a hot barista right behind the counter. And he doesn't know what to say to her. He even, he tweets it, puts it on Facebook. He's like, man, I just can't work up the nerves to talk to this girl. That's when I walk in. And I am just in my underwear. <laughs> and the thing is, I, when I come in, oh, I, I'm not a ninja. I make my presence known. I just open the door, <laughs> doors open, and I know where I'm going. I know where he is. I don't stop for a split second. I take long strides to get to his feet, like, <laughs> just sit down. Sit down, look straight in the eyes, and say, so, how's your day? <laughs> now, who in their right mind is going to start that conversation by saying how their day actually went? <laughs> I, I, I know I wouldn't. I know a normal person would respond the same way every single time. Dude, why are you in your underwear? What do you mean? I mean, why don't you have pants on? Why is the only piece of clothing you have on your underwear right now? Is this not cool? <laughs> no, it's not cool. What were you thinking? What made you get the idea that you should walk in here with just your underwear? Well, I saw on Facebook that you were nervous and I thought I was going to help you out a little bit. <laughs> How would this possibly help? And boom, that's when the barista walks over to kick me out and they have a conversation starter. <laughs> I've never been good at closing routines, so that's it. He wants the mic. Give it up one more.